Hi church, it's Pastor Jen and Jacob with today's digital devotion. We will also be showing this at the beginning of our worship service. So our new sermon series for stewardship season is called Be the Change. And this is something that you may have heard in passing in our society. And it's the idea that if we see something in the world that we want changed, why, why not just be the change? Why not be the people that we have been waiting for and take action and take steps to make positive change in the world and in our community and in our society? We have some awesome sermons during this series about some of our favorite stories. <laughs> if we stories. say so ourselves. I just mean that they're based on awesome scripture passages. Okay. Some of our favorite stories in all of scripture, from the Ethiopian eunuch to the mm -hmm. daughters of Zelophehad. These are going to be great examples of being the change. And we chose that for our stewardship theme this year because... There is a lot that we feel like needs to change about our world. And honestly, it won't change unless we are actively involved in making that change happen. And a lot of those changes could come through our church community. Many of you know that our fiscal year goes from July to June. And so we are planning to set next year's budget. We're going to be doing that through April and May, voting on it as a congregation in June. This is our mission plan. What are we going to accomplish next year? What are we gonna be able to do? And the only way we can put together a budget is through the pledges of the congregation because we have to make decisions about what we can do and what we can't do based on what we anticipate we will have financially through the coming year. And we make those estimations by pledging as a congregation. Mm -hmm. And so we will be sending you today on Monday emails and letters are going out inviting you to fill out a pledge card or there's an online form or you can just email the financial administrator jocelyn and let her know what your pledge is going to be and that way we can put together the budget if more pledges come in than we anticipate it allows us to say oh my gosh we can do an extra building project or this is great we can hire another staff member or this is great we can support a new mission project we're only able to do that if we know that we're going to get extra pledges than we anticipated. And so that's why as many of you pledging as possible and letting us know your intentions is great. It doesn't have to be something big saying like, I can do this small amount per month, but just saying this is my intention. That allows us to say, okay, great. Um, this is what we can plan together. This is the, the mission plan we can put together mm -hmm. for the year ahead. Yeah, and stewardship season really is about looking at our resources both individually and as a community and saying what is the change that we want to make what is the ministry that we want to do together and then actively being a part of that and actively saying i'm not just going to talk about what i wish would happen in our church and in our cities and in our state and in our country etc but i'm actually going to put uh, myself forward. I'm going to put some resources in the game. I'm going to get involved and I'm going to be a good steward of what I have and make positive change. So we're really excited about this. We get excited every year about stewardship season because it's just a way of everyone recommitting themselves to being active in the church. And it's always really exciting to see people pledge and say, yeah, I'm, I'm in for another year of ministry at Claremont UCC. And it, it really generates this feeling of positive energy that we're all you know, sailing on the same ship in the same direction. And I really do think that um, our church has made incredible change in our community and will continue to do so. Yeah, so thanks for being part of this ongoing legacy of a church, as you said, rooted in change yeah. for 127 plus years. Yes. So if you get your pledge cards into us as soon as possible, or again, just email or fill out that online form, we're asking for them by the second Sunday in May, and that's when we'll start putting together the budget for next year. Thanks everybody. Thank you.